when I when I read a script and I break down a script, I had a script library in my house that literally has three thousand scripts. And you know, I started in this business not to date myself, but when I was eighteen years old, and that's when they would courier scripts to your house, so you'd have a hard copy. So I'm old school, so I will not read on an iPad. I don't read on the computer. So I printed his out when they've got it. And for me, if you can visually take me in that world where I lose myself by page one, by, and that's a lot to, to ask as a screenwriter. Can you capture a world on a single page and take me away from whatever the hell I'm doing? You know, checking my phone, emails. If you can do that on page one and suck, you know, a lot of people you've heard, and you probably heard this, if you can get the reader by page 10, I disagree with that. If you get the reader by page one, you've got a really strong voice. And he did that with me. He captured a world in West Texas in the era, the time I could feel the wind and the sand blowing. I could feel the heat on the man's back. I could feel, I could feel the world in page one where I'm like, I'm going the distance. I'm going to read this whole thing. So that's my challenge to every writer out there. Don't try. Can you capture that world? Page one. That's the real challenge. And it's a reminder for myself as I'm writing a story too, to go back and look at page one. Have I grabbed your attention, the reader's attention?